In this example, we'll draw without replacement from the population in the US. Now, before we said that drawing without replacement, the events are not independent. However, when we're dealing with such a large population, drawing one person out doesn't change the probabilities of the remaining pool enough to really matter in the problem. The, the change is so tiny that we can assume that it's negligible. So we're going to assume that these two trials are independent even though we're drawing without replacement. And that's what that sentence in the middle of the problem statement says. About 9% of people are left-handed. Suppose two people are selected at random from the US population. Again, because the sample size of two is very small relative to this large population, it's reasonable to assume that these two people are independent. In other words, it won't change the problem in any significant way by assuming they're independent. What is the probability that both are left-handed? In other words, what's the probability that the first person left-handed and that the second person is left-handed. Well, of course, we can assume that they're independent, so this probability is the product of the two individual ones. Since 9% of people are left-handed, the probability of drawing a left-handed person is 9%, or 0 0.09. So we multiply together 0 0.09 twice, and we get 0 0.0081. So there's a little less than 1% chance that these two people that we select randomly are both left-handed.